welcome back to Hella Jam. The sun is shining and it's beating down on us a lot. It's getting hot and sweaty and I figured why not show you guys my favorite sunscreens thus far and what have really worked for me over the years. So if you want to know what my absolute favorite sunscreens are, keep watching. If you guys don't know this yet or if your dermatologist hasn't told you, sunscreen is so incredibly important especially as you get older it doesn't matter whether the sun is out or not even on overcast days the rays are even more damaging to your skin so what i usually do right after i wash my face and put my moisturizer on i always 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 wear spf i found that using sunscreen every day has helped diminish my scarring from when i used to have cystic acne as well as just you know why not protect your skin you only have one skin for the rest of your life take care of it now. I've got two sunscreens that are basically tied for first, and I'm sure you guys have heard of them. That's Glossier's sunscreen, as well as the Super Goo Perfect Day Everywhere Lotion sunscreen. The reason why I love Glossier's sunscreen so much is because not only is it super sheer and lightweight, it doesn't have that stinky sunscreen smell or leftover residue feeling, like the oily feeling. I don't feel like it really clogs my pores. It's just very lightweight and easy to use to just put on right after your moisturizer every morning. I saw Super Goop recently. Maybe I'm a sucker for ads. I wanted to give it a try. This is SPF 50 and unlike Glossier's sheer formula, this is actually, it's a white based lotion. And I actually really love the fact that it's very easy to rub in. Disco, disco, no more. I apologize for my troubled child. Disco was playing with Azul and almost knocked over this light. So that's exciting. Luckily, I have cat-like reflexes. I was actually thoroughly impressed by Super Goop. I love how lightweight it is. I love the fact that it also doesn't clog the pores. It does have that sunscreen smell just a little bit. But if you're not too picky, it's fine. What's also great about this bottle is at the very bottom, it has a lip shield. So don't forget to always, 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 if you're in the sun laying out, protect your lips. So it's a two-in-one little combo. As you guys know, you should always be reapplying. Sometimes it's hard to reapply your sunscreen when you're out and about and your makeup's done. That's why I love Super Goop's setting spray. It is also SPF 50. It's water and sweat resistant. This was a lifesaver when I was in Hawaii. I literally packed it in my purse every time I was out and about and I felt like it's probably time to reapply. I literally would just spray myself. Voila, you're done, your makeup set, you're good to go. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Oily Problem Skin Instant Mineral Powder. I've had this for quite some time. I used this when I used to be a little festival girl and used to go to music festivals. I put this in my purse whenever I needed to reapply or kind of like when I knew that I was kind of sweating all of the sunscreen off. And this was actually a really, really awesome lifesaver. It's SPF 30, it's chemical free, translucent brush. Um, it has zinc oxide powder. Zinc is the number one ingredient that you want in all of your sunscreens that actually protects you from the rays and protects you from getting burnt. I know this from my very, very porcelain husband who gets sunburnt very easily. What's really nice about this is you can just literally pat it on. You'll see it's translucent and it protects your skin. Super Goop Setting Spray will help you set all of your makeup and also kind of give you that dewy effect. This is for when you kind of need to calm down the dewiness or the sweat and um, kind of help mattify your face. I personally love this whenever I feel like my face is getting really oily and I just need to touch it up. And it's also perfect little size to put in your purse. All right guys, those are my favorite sunscreens. Um, I hope that it was informative for you. I found so much success from wearing sunscreen every single day. I hope this inspires you guys to kind of think a little bit more about your skin and how to protect your skin from the rays, whether it's overcast or not. Like I said, you only have one skin your entire life it's important to protect it now more than ever. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you have any other favorite everyday sunscreens, I'd also like to know. So leave a comment and we can keep this conversation going, inform each other, keep each other in the loop, build this community for healthy skin.